Back in Tulsa, Jim, do not try this at home. Oh, I'm not. I'm too old. There ain't no way. I hate the land. The landing is what it get me. Perhaps Michael Rappaport <laughs> would. Let's head over to Mike. All right, I'm here with Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, the oldest player in the league. You're picking up steam. You're looking fantastic. It's kind of looking like the LSU day, LSU days. What did Gary Payton tell you about the lineup change this week? Last week you didn't play as much, but this week you're getting a lot of action. He just basically told me he's going to put me in. We got to get me going. And uh, that's what we're trying to do right now. We're going to keep the movement going, take advantage of our uh, the opportunities we get. Well, you're looking fantastic. Keep doing your thing, Kenny. All right, Fax Spike. 14 first half points for Abdul Raouf as Gary Payton, as you mentioned, Jim, shook up the lineup. And to this point, it's paid off. Well, again, the importance of having a shooter. You see it in the first half 26 to 13, 14 points of those 26 came from a guard. Gary understands that last week he tried to go a little bigger. This week he understands that he needs to score, but he also needs the decision making of a point guard. Second half underway. Power trailing by 13 with Deshaun Stevenson, Jerome Williams, and Catino Boldly. Stevenson off to a rough start. Yeah, that's one for eight. All shots behind the three-point line. He should use his size to maybe get inside, get an easy basket, or get to the free throw line to generate some uh, some rhythm in the second half. Shot clock is down to five. Abdul Raouf for Kwame Brown. Brown with an opportunity on the follow. Could not hit. And the foul is committed by Jerome Williams. Yeah, well, also, too, keep in mind, three-headed monsters. Sweet Lou inside, missed some layups. And also Kwame Brown. I know Katino probably disrupted the shot a little bit, but those are shots you have to finish. Brown fouled by Williams once again. So Kwame Brown to the free throw line. Hey, hey. Kwame Brown at the line, shooting First overall four. pitch by Washington back in 2001. Played in over 600 NBA games. A teammate of yours with the Lakers. Yeah, extremely hard worker. I know he got a lot of criticism in regards to maybe not living up to the building coming out of high school, but sometimes situations, teams dictate how successful you're going to be in the league. Stevenson again off the mark. Nice job by Williams to keep it alive. Here's Stevenson. He hits the floor. Go help. Rashad Lewis taking it inside and hits over Stevenson. But first, I like the drive by Stevenson, even though he missed an effort to get to the basket. And that time, Rashad Lewis, I talked about some layups. He missed that one. Point Blake range. He wasn't missing that one. Catino Mobley from three. Cat. Catino Mobley for three. Yep, another former teammate of yours, Jim. I got a lot playing right now. When you play for 12 teams, you have a lot of teammates, Jim. Yep. <laughs> we counted it up prior to the game. You played with 13 guys who are currently playing the big three. Yeah, you know. It was fun. Oh, great pass that time. Again, not finishing inside, but a lot of these guys, I love to see them because a lot of them were young um, that I played with. But that's the beauty about the league, and we're all the when we see each other, kind of reminisce a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. You have any thoughts of shooting up in the big three? Never thought about. It. I haven't played in ten years, man. Ten years. Uh, I'd rather go play golf. But for the, a lot of these guys, though, can he still play? So once you retire and you stay active, it's a lot easier. If you stop playing the game and try to get back in, I, I'm not putting that stress on my body right now. Many of the big three players currently play overseas. Some play in the D-League. But well, Catino continues to play at a lot of uh, open gyms in rec ball in, in L.A. I know Jerome plays. Stevenson plays. I mean, Sweet Lou is still in excellent shape. So a lot of these guys still get it in. Bobby Brown takes it inside on Williams. See, and that's, that's an example of having a decision maker that time. My move was able to throw it to the outside hand of Kwame Brown, where he was able to turn and finish inside. Here's Bobley. He draws a foul. That point guard play talked right here. He's looking at the lead hand. Kwame stretches it out towards the baseline in the pass on time and on target. And a lot of times when you have a maybe a post player playing on the wing, they can't make that entry pass in order to get an easy shot for the post player down low. 
Mobley hits the free throw. Three-headed monsters lead by 12. A couple of players joining the league this week. Kareem Rush, now a member of the three-headed monsters, and Kendall Gill so excited that he was added to the power roster by Clyde Drexler and Captain Corey McGetty. Right, Kendall uh, played against him at Illinois. Now as a freshman, as a senior. Played together in New Jersey and Miami. Oh, great pass. And the foul committed by Brown. And Kendall, I got to correct him because he tries to tell a story about me and Michael Jordan, Jordan, Jordan and I talking a lot of trash during the game. And he never gets the story right. Never gets the story right. I'm like, stop telling the story unless you get it right. But it was a funny story, but he just gets it all wrong. So what was the story? Well, we were playing, talking a lot of stuff. We beat them the, the year of 70, when they won 72 games in New Jersey. We get back to Chicago, they're on it. So we're going back and forth, John. You see my move with another pull-up jump shot off the pick and roll once again. I have 33, we lose the game. And Joe Klein says, leave my young fellow alone. Michael says, I don't have a problem with JJ, but that's why he's wearing my shoes. <laughs> One of the rare losses for the Bulls that season. Yeah, I know, yeah. Abdul Rauf from three. Mobley the rebound. Mobley driving on Richard Lewis. And that's an example of Catino Mobley even going to his right, and he's left-handed. By lowering his right sho uh, left shoulder a little bit into Sweet Lou's chest, he created some space to get that shot up. Mobley has scored 17 of the 22 points for the power. Yeah, but the, the problem is the power are not getting consecutive defensive stops in order to let them get back in the game. And aside from Mobley, his teammates have combined for only five. So it's been a one-man show offensively for the power. Here's Stevenson. He's had a rough day. Now one for ten. And sometimes you got to figure out that they may not be your afternoon and try to do something else that can help your team win. Bobby Brown on the beautiful feed from Abdul Rauf. Makes a big difference. Makes a big difference. Timeout is taken by Clyde Drexler and the power. You are watching the Big Three exclusively on FS1. It's got the summer on lock. Big Three on Fox. Welcome back to Tulsa, over to Mike Rappaport. All right, I'm with Powers to Sean Stevenson. Listen, your team is 2-0. Right now, you guys are looking complacent and out of sync. What are you going to do to get back in this game, Deshaun? We got to work hard. You know, shots not going in. We got to play with a lot of energy. We're not doing that right now. That's why we're behind. All right, do you think, Kenny? All right, thanks, Mike. Power at 2-0. Wins over Tri-State and the Killer Threes. But they trail the three-headed monsters. Here in Tulsa, 38-22. Here's Stevenson. He continues to fire, and he hits a three. But how about the play coming out the timeout? A little pick and roll on the strong side. You're forced to help because Catino can turn the corner. Rashard Lewis had to step in. The first clean, I think, rhythm shot for Deshaun Stevens this afternoon. And now Stevenson commits the foul as he reached in on Rashard Lewis. The two coaches, both Hall of Famers, Clyde Drexler, Gary Payton. In fact, Jim, six of the eight big three coaches are basketball Hall of Famers. Give it back. Well, good job, Jamal. And that's the kind of defensive stop you need that time. My move a little bit too close to the sideline. The sideline becomes Kenny a third defender. So when you trap, you really, as a ball handler, have nowhere to go. Power looking to cut into the deficit. Terrell Williams had it knocked away by Richard Lewis. Abdullah Oof wide open, hits another three. You miss a layup. Miss two. points for the, the other team five point swing 21 points for Abdul Rauf first to 50 wins the game three-headed monsters lead 41 25 Stevenson hits another three 
His second straight after starting the game one for ten. 13 point lead for the three headed monsters looking for their second win in three weeks. They scored only 37 points in the loss to Trilogy last week. We talked about defense right here. Nice on the second shot opportunity. And that time, just falling asleep on defense. Jerome Williams a little upset that he missed. Guys were on the opposite end of the court and smartly. My move floats to the corner for an open three. Here's Lewis backing in on Stevenson. Rashard Lewis. Now what a proponent of the big three he has been. In fact, any child 13 or under Jim can attend a game free with an adult ticket purchase thanks to Rashard Lewis. Well, the buy-in is much more than just the basketball side. The connection with the fans in each city, I think, it is as important as playing the game with these players. And Rashard Lewis able to step up. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, did you feel that breeze come through <laughs> the tunnel right there? Somebody closed the door in the back. So Brown will head to the bench as Kareem Rush makes his big three debut. How about it? Excellent player, Missouri. Number of teams in the uh, NBA. Here's Mobley. Latino Mobley now with 19 points. Latino just needs a little help, and I talked about it. Only 30 points, you've given up 43 thus far. Defensively, it's failing them now. Here's McPherson had it slotted away by Lewis. He's able to put it back up because it did not hit the rim. Well, the play before, and correct me if I'm wrong, Power came up with the ball where the rim for three-headed monsters didn't hit, but they took it out instead of going right back up to get an easy two. Now here's Stevenson from three. McPherson in good position, but he's called for traveling. Things are just not, I mean, the little things that were going right for Power in the last two weeks this afternoon, the rhythm just isn't there offensively or defensively for power right now. That's why the struggle is real for them. Underneath, underneath. Let's go, let's go. Gary Payton's three-headed monsters in control. Need only five more points. Four. Here's Bobley. That's a four-point attempt. Kareem Rush driving on Deshaun Stevenson. Puts it up and hits. Prime example of a player that's been playing in tip-top shape, able to come in and make an impact right now by putting the ball on the deck. A nice little turn, fade away. Lefty jump shot inside. Stevenson guarded by Rush. Stevenson gains a step and is fouled. And Stevenson, Jim, is shaken up. I think it may have been contact impact on the floor when he hit the injury. Just keep your eye right oh, here as he gets to the basket, gets fouled, and it may be the right foul. there. Stevenson to the line, 13 NBA seasons. Hits the free throw. The three-headed monsters in position to win the game with a three. Yeah. And why not? Why not? After why not? For the win! Mahmoud abdul Rauf with 24 of his team's 50 points. Well, Mahmoud got the party started early for three-headed monsters, so it was only fair that he would be in position to pity pat with the basketball, get your rhythm right now and say, listen, the first two weeks, I didn't play well. But this afternoon is my show. Three ball. Game time. The three-headed monster is victorious to Michael Rappaport. Michael. Oh, 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 oh. Before you start, don't ask me nothing about air ball. Well, I was going to ask you about the air ball, Kwame. How, how does that happen? And, like, what are we going to do to fix that? We don't want to see that anymore from you. I'm just here so I don't get fined. It was a good game, Kwame. You guys are now...
two and one. How are you feeling about your team? What do you think about Mahmoud Abdul-Rohf? He's 48 years young. Oh, yeah, we've been working on that in the gym, just me laying on the picks and him getting wide open shots. So I'll get back in the gym and work on some more free throws. Believe it or not, in the gym without all this, I'm a good free throw shooter. I believe you, Kwame. Have a, have a, good, a good game, and I'll see you next week. Kenny. All right, thanks, Mike. Had some laughs, but his team is victorious on the three from Abdul Rauf. Coming up next, Chauncey Billups leads the killer threes against Bonzi Wells and Tri State. This is the Big Three exclusively on FS1. Got the summer on lock, Big Three on Fox.